Hi, Holistic Travel Nurse. In this video, you are in my bedroom, and we're going to talk about RVing full time and the troubles you can have with living with a crappy mattress and the RV. I thought it would just be fine, just be fine, and then I realized we're rolling into each other. We've put boards underneath because our head was letting down. I mean, there's just no support um, underneath. Our bed, it does go open and we have a compartment underneath there. We don't really ever use it. We have an incredible closet, which in the closet, I broke this. And so we bought this instead. Technically we have a washer and dryer hookup in here, but we don't use it. I use a lot of my clothes in here. Um, I pretty much get the closet, not my husband. So with that said, I finally broke down and bought a mattress off Amazon in a box mattress. Now I still wanted a king, and so I measured because we ended up putting, we tried to put the memory form over the RV mattress still. That was only good for a year. And it was still, we're still sinking into the mattress or having all the issues with the mattress and not sleeping well. And sleep is so important. So I decided to break down, buy a mattress through Amazon and got more of a one that has more natural products in it, not so toxic, all on Amazon. And it comes in a box and yes, it was some work to get the box in here. No way you're gonna see the video of that and then unraveling it. And then we're not gonna sleep on the mattress for the couple days. We didn't make it though. Because making the bed in an RV is so hard. And we're gonna explain, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see all this. This is my dog jumping on me, see? Jazzy wants to be already on the bed and examine and you're gonna, I'm gonna show you some other things I'm gonna do just to lighten and make some bright colors in this room. All the RVs come with dark colors and I don't know what they're thinking about these dark color mattresses and, and behind me with the, like say for instance this, I don't like this. It looked like this and this. I don't mind this. I don't like this. I wanna change up this and I'm going to with some fabric. So you wanna see the bed now and see what we have going on. This no makeup day. All right, let's switch it around. Well, hopefully I can switch this around. Now I can't see the button to do so. All right, so in this we have our bed. Now, look, this is our king size new comfort. There's Jazzy mattress. And you can see I changed up the headboard because I used to have a different comforter. I do have a different comforter with that color, but see how I still have these colors and that, so it still kind of goes. But I am gonna do something different. I had gray on there, but I'm gonna mess around with what I want over those little covers to just give me more color in here. I hang my masks. This is my side of the bed, hang them up there. But let me just take you in. Like right here, this is a closet. This is barely any, he can't really, this is my husband sleeps on the side. He really can't get out on the bed this way because it, it, the mattress comes over here so much because it is a king size mattress. On my side, excuse all the shoes, and I do have this cabinet full of stuff. I did fit the, my little um, little plastic thing right there, and then I have some clothes, I'm sorry, and shoes. I shove my shoes over here. So, what, what we had to see the side table if we have to push the mattress down and then push it back so it's really you're wiping your face all over my new mattress what is up with that jazzy jazzy yes let's not do that all right so you can see right here how much it shoved in that i can't even get the this all the fit on the side and this is shoved in so deep right there there's it's like the mattress is right on it now this is because this is a 12 inch and I figured we needed more 12 inch and so you can see the other mattress is not as thick so the thickness of this mattress obviously it's not made very well is in and you can see underneath here how thick this mattress is and we just got it out of the box and 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 messed it up according to the directions where it says right here not to make the bed but we were gonna have dogs dump on the bed it says right there don't but we already have it fluffing up so much we're just not gonna lay on it and not sleep on it tonight and sleep in the bunkhouse and just make it and let it be 
because um, it, it is so much work to make an art. I mean, it took me and my husband and a good 30 minutes to put these sheets and everything on this bed. But you want to sleep well, you want to have comfort. And so it still will be able to, this is slides out, and we still will be able to slide to messy closet. Sorry, this is all a mess, things got thrown around here to our dresser. It's still going to have no problem going in when the sliding comes in. And so the issue with the RV mattresses is the, the length or the width of them. So from that corner to this corner and having no leg room, you're just going to have to climb this way out of the bed. So Jazzy, is that it for us? She said this is it for the video. <laughs>